Hey, Dr. Mark Testa here today. In this video, I wanna talk about the role of zinc and how it helps us maintain really good health. So zinc is involved in many physiological processes within our body. It's found in every cell throughout our body. And really, we know that it's involved in the body's defense mechanisms, namely the immune system. Uh, and so proper levels of this help us maintain a healthy immune system. It's involved in cell division and cell growth, which is going on millions of times a second in our body. It's involved in wound healing, and I've got a really good story about that later on, and in the breakdown of carbohydrates. Now, zinc is also really important in our sense of smell and our sense of taste. It's also really important in the um, actions of insulin, which is a big deal right now with roughly 90 million Americans being pre-diabetic. So uh, best sources of zinc are animal protein and shellfish. Now I know some people are vegetarians and vegans and I completely respect that. So how about nuts, uh, legumes, and whole grains? Legumes can be peanuts or lentils. Um, things like that. So you can get it in other forms besides meat. Um, side effects of too little zinc, or maybe you may notice this already in your life, is frequent infections. This could be anything from herpes breakouts to recurrent sinus infections to bladder infections. Um, common things that sometimes get overlooked as a potential uh, in, uh, insufficiency of zinc. What else? Poor appetite can be uh, a source of insufficient zinc, as well as, uh, as we already mentioned, uh, poor taste and smell. So something to really pay attention to here. Also, let me tell you about this story. I had a patient uh, who had um, an impact to his legs. He had an open lesion uh, for over a year, had numerous skin grafts, antibiotics, uh, pick line, the whole thing, nothing helped it. I put him on zinc and within one week he came back, this thing was like this, down to almost like this. And that was the only change we made. So uh, we know that zinc is involved in healing, skin lesions, things like that. And in men, it, if you're zinc deficient, it can cause hypogonadism, so small testicles. Now the side effects of too much zinc, I've done this before, nausea and uh, vomiting. And um, so you got to be careful if you're taking it by itself, make sure you're not getting it in a multivitamin as well. This is where you can get too much of a good thing if you're taking it in different forms and it's easily over to look to forget how much you're getting in a multivitamin. Now typical dose you know, it's, it's always hard to say. Uh, the RDA on this for men is about 11 milligrams. Females, slightly lower, 8 to 11 milligrams. I take 15 milligrams myself on a daily basis, um, but this is what is largely recommended. Some research has been good on this in showing that when taken for at least five months, Zinc may reduce your risk of becoming sick with the common cold. And also starting to take zinc supplementations 24 hours after cold symptoms has been known to shorten the intensity and the duration of the cold. So um, interesting findings there. I'll put the links to this research in the notes here. On a uh, practical side, uh, in my clinic when I was seeing patients, we successfully used zinc to help with uh, male libido, um, sperm production, and in helping men be uh, deliver really good on their side of helping with conception. It worked really well, uh, also with erectile dysfunction. So I haven't really looked in the literature for this, but anecdotally, um, this is what I've seen work really well. So I hope this is helpful. If you would like to get more health tips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If I'm on the right track, like it and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next video. All right, stay healthy.